I have got my hands on the latest product from MAC Studio and this is the Radiant Serum. You may have seen this everywhere on the internet. Well, we're going to try it today. We're going to test for durability, wearability in sub-zero conditions. So stay tuned for the ultimate adventure that you don't want to miss. Hello lovely people, welcome to my YouTube channel, Hey Spring Chicken. My name is Cordelia and if you're a returning visitor, I am so pleased that you're back. And if you're new here, welcome. Today's topic, as you have probably seen from the thumbnail, is going to be the MAC Studio Radiant Serum. I am a lover of serum foundations and this has received huge accolade. So we're going to trial it and today, Probably a green jumper was not the best jumper to wear. So we're going to trial it <laughs> here. And I'm going to take you in a sub-zero conditions, walking the dog, a little glimpse of that, and we'll have a look at how my skin reacts to the cold weather. For a lot of reviews, we tested in warm weather, but what about the cold? Because for us, it's pretty darn cold at the moment. It's minus one. So that's 30 degrees Fahrenheit for you guys in America. So let's start. So this is what it looks like. I used NW15 for the Studio Fix Fluid and the shade was right for me. But I'm looking at this and this looks a little darker. Let's go. Right, okay. So I don't know about you, but I think that looks a bit dark for my skin. It feels quite nice. I do like the feel of it. If you've used serum foundation before, you will know the benefits. And the benefits are that they often have a live ingredient so that you put this on your skin and it doesn't cake, but it keeps going. The live ingredient hydrate the skin. This one has hyaluronic acid in it. So I'm looking forward to trialing. That does look very orange, doesn't it? When I went on the website, it said that my shade is NW15. Let's try. Before I start, I just want to highlight the areas that I have of concern, and that is here and under my eye. Now, this is not a full coverage. It is a serum foundation. It's quite a light coverage, which means that it's perfect for day wear and buildability. So I'm going to trial it on one side with fingers, because it says you can use fingers, sponge, and brush. Fingers are very good. Let's try. Now, it said it's suitable for all skin types. Dabbing it on. Did I mention there are 56 shades? So there will be a shade suitable for you, I am sure. Let me read some of the reviews, but look at reviews that are not on the MAC website, but on, I'm looking at Look Fantastic. I've always been NC20, but this seems a bit yellow to me. Looks beautiful nonetheless. I don't wear foundation because I hate the way it looks on my skin, but I've always wanted to love it. So I saw this and gave it a try. It gave me that glowy look. Safe to say I love it and I wear it all the time. Don't be fooled by the shade numbers. If you are used to MAC Studio Fix, the shade numbers are very different, even though they have the same numbers. I will let it settle on its own, but we're going to apply on the other side of my face. I just wanted you to see the difference in coverage because although this is light coverage, it's still, I think, a good cover. It feels lovely. It was very easy to apply. It needed to blend out, but that's the benefit of a serum foundation. It's just soft and easy to manage, and I'm hoping it won't cake. I do have very dry skin and that is my problem that it will collect in these little patches here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply the other side and then we'll add the concealer. Now I didn't go too deep into the corners there because it sometimes does collect in there. I will add a concealer to do that. Let's add the rest of it. I hope you can see the application, what it looks like. Interestingly, I've just noticed it's serum powered foundation. Now, Edith has just asked a question. Does that mean if it's got serum in it, we don't need to use serum before we apply it? One of my hydration layers is a serum, peptide serum. The answer to that is no. You still need to use your serum in the morning or as a layering piece. What this is actually doing is making the foundation last longer. It is perfect for the mature skin because I don't know if you're like me, but I find after a long wear for five hours not even that long it will start to cake and I start to see the dry patches 
I am hoping this will ensure that I don't have any caking or dry patches. What I'm going to do now is put the rest of my makeup on and then I'll come back to camera. Let me tell you how the makeup went on afterwards. So I'm going to come a bit closer to you and I'm going to show you that I'm not massively happy how it's collected on my under eye. Now that could be operator error and it could be my fault the way I've applied it. But overall, hopefully you can see that the makeup has gone on quite well. Well, in fact, very well. <laughs> so I am very pleased. So we will come back to you in four hours. But in that four hours, I'm going to navigate the freezing cold weather that we have outside in Sussex. We will walk the dog and I will take you with me and we will see how this face responds. But as you can see, close up. I did have to work it into the hairline. Just while I think about it, I found this on the Sephora website and it's currently on special offer. So if you're very quick, you might get it. It was 26 pound. Currently on Mac's own website, it's 39. I will add the links below. There may be affiliate links attached, which means if you click and buy, I will receive a teeny tiny commission for which thank you. Excuse the door. Heading out for a dog walk. It's actually a little bit warmer than I thought. It's now five degrees. It doesn't feel like it, it feels bloody freezing. So it is cold, but I'm quite pleased with it. What do you think? Nine hours later, an hour long walk in very cold conditions. And now we're looking at how my skin has performed without any touch up. The only touch up I've added is on my lips, but everything else you see is how I put it on this morning. I noticed that my skin had dried quite quickly without any intervention from fixing spray. I also noticed, let me show you, that it did not come off on my clothing. I said this morning, perhaps this big green roll neck wasn't the thing to wear, but it hasn't come off. So that's a big pro. We're gonna have a look at a bit of a close up because I've already had a look and I know there are problems. So overall, it still feels that it's there and it could be that this little patch here is down to the vitamin C. So with that aside, I am pleased with how it looks. I don't know what you think looking through the camera, but looking at my skin, this isn't bad. My nose was running, my eyes were watering, not bad. So what are my overall thoughts of it? Well, it's £39 on the MAC website. I managed to find it for £29. Would I pay £39? Probably. What about the shade? I think I would have suited a shade slightly lighter than I have on my face at the moment. Maybe get a tester and go for the lighter shade than you would normally use for your studio fix. So what else is good? It just is, it just looks really super. I'm very, very pleased with it. And the cons? I don't think there are any. I can't think of any. No, I can't. Overall, this is really, really good. So I suppose if I had to say any cons, it is not full coverage. However, I knew that before I purchased it and I knew that it was going to be a foundation serum. This is wonderful. If you've never tried serum foundation, try it now. You're going to be bowled over by it. So we're going to do a little bit of a series about serum foundations. But so far, the year has started well with the MAC Serum Radiance Foundation. This gets my thumbs up, big time. And if you liked it, give me a thumbs up. Ding that little bell, because that little bell will alert you to content that we're uploading like this every single week. I would love it if you write your comments. If you've tried it, if you have some ideas on what your thoughts of it are, write it in the comments. And subscribe. Subscribing lets the algorithm know I'm doing something right. 
So if you've made it this far and if you've started with me on the beginning, the middle and the end, I want to thank you. Enjoy the rest of your day, morning, evening, wherever you are in the world and I will see you soon. Thank you. I have got my hands on the latest Mac product that you may have seen all over the internet. Tinternet, that Tint you may have seen over Tinternet. <laughs>